I worked in a radio factory. What did you really do during the war? Are you paying attention? Well, you may recognize Rory Kinnear for his role as Detective, no no Detective Knock in last year's historical Oscar-winning thriller, The Imitation Game. And now Kinnear has brought his talents to Chicago's theater scene with his play that he wrote called The Herd, and it's at Steppenwolf Theater, and we're delighted to welcome you to to, to Good Day Chicago today. Thank good you to very have much. you. Thanks good to me. have you here. I got to tell you, this is exciting. Of course, we've watched your acting over the years in the Bond films. I guess you're going back to London to do the next one, right? That's right. Yeah, I'm <laughs> heading straight back on Monday to, to film the next bit of Spectre. But yeah, if it's exciting for you, you can can't imagine how exciting <laughs> it is for me. This is this is my first play, and um, oh yeah, exactly. The second production of it. We did a we did a production last year in London, but uh, this is the U.S. premiere, and to be able to get it on at Steppenwolf is... It's not too bad. You've got John Mahoney in the cast, you've got Lois Smith, it's directed by Frank Galati, one yeah. of our great directors and, and actors. I didn't do too bad. <laughs> you haven't done too badly at all. Well, I have to ask you, I know the theme is it's a, it's a birthday party for a 21-year-old uh, unseen character who, of course, is, I believe, mentally challenged and so forth, uh, um, and I just wonder, is, is that an... What gave you the idea to sort of set it up that way? Do you have a connection yeah. to that I, kind my, of world? My elder sister had, uh, is um, severely disabled. She had a lack ah. of oxygen at birth and uh, it's something I've always grown up with and known and been very much part of my life, an emotional life, and something that I felt was underrepresented on stage and particularly the effects of caring for someone so long term, uh, yeah. that the effects that it has on their immediate family. Oh yeah. And I guess the play, if anything, it's about the 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 powerful effects of love and the um, the havoc that love can cause, even if you wouldn't want it any other way. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And of course, it is an issue that is very timely. A lot of things today are being presented theatrically that never would have been pre presented even a few years ago. Yeah, and actually just uh, the openness and um, I guess it's part of my mum's fight as a parent of someone with severe disability was to make sure that they were recognised as an individual and as a member of society. Um, and I guess the more that society itself is moved towards that position, then I guess we've, we've got to catch up by trying to display that on film and on stage. Exactly. And of course, uh, you know, you also have Francis Guinan, and I should mention that in, in this cast. It's a wonderful cast at Steppenwolf, playing through June 7th, which I want to mention. Um, but the thing is, you know, you've also been in some of these huge, huge films. Imitation Game, uh, you know, of course, the Bond films, uh, Penny Dreadful is, of course, another thing that you do. Um, you know, when you go from one project to the next, uh, it must be fun to be part of all of these things. Yeah, and also, I mean, trying to squeeze in the right Writing in, a, in amongst it is, uh, particularly with two young children, gets, gets <laughs> trickier. But uh, you know, I think there's another play in there somewhere, and it's uh, and it's a question of downtime on set, being able to go away and tinker on on the next. Well, having been an actor, of course, you come from a family. Your father was a very famous actor. Um, my my question is, you know, was it that you you felt I want to do this, go, go to the other side? I want to write just as well as just read other people's words. I guess my impulse for this play was that I wanted to write this play rather than just necessarily <laughs> to write and to uh, explore that. I wanted to give voice to this particular um, issue uh, so that it was quite a it's quite uh, passionate and deeply felt play for yeah. me um, I guess the next one maybe maybe won't be or won't be come necessarily from place of something that is so personal. So uh, who knows what that'll be? Well, so in other words, it sounds like the writing bug has actually bitten you. And, oh. and, and, and well, particularly when you see actors bringing it to life and you know, actors of such quality as we've got at Steppenwolf. That's um, true. Then I, I, I'd be a fool to try and not well, do it again. We're, we're thrilled you're here. We're thrilled that you're doing it at Steppenwolf. And as I say, the herd uh, is playing through June 7th. There it is up on the screen. And of course, you can go to Steppenwolf org for all the ticket information and Rory Kinner, great to meet you. You too. I've admired your work over the years, and now I get to meet you in person. This is kind of cool. Mark, over to you to find out 